dilute hydrochloric acid and dilute sulfuric acid and a matchbox. We will put zinc granules in both the beakers. You will observe that zinc reacts with acids and releases a gas. What is the gas which is formed? Take the beaker containing dilute hydrochloric acid light a matchstick and introduce it into the gas near the mouth of the beaker. You see that the matchstick burns with a pop sound when brought near the open end of beakers. Let's try it again. Take the beaker containing dilute sulfuric acid instead. Again test the gas formed using a lit matchstick. Listen carefully for the sound. A metal carbonate is a metal combined with carbon and oxygen like copper carbonate, calcium carbonate. You can take hydrochloric acid, calcium carbonate, beaker and a matchbox. Take some calcium carbonate in the beaker. Add hydrochloric acid to it. A gas is formed and released. Light the match and bring it close to the mouth of the beaker and it extinguishes. This gas is carbon dioxide. This comes from the reaction of calcium carbonate with hydrochloric acid which forms calcium chloride, carbon dioxide and water. A metal carbonate reacts with acid. Carbon dioxide gas is released and a salt is formed. Salts etc. All these uses are possible because of few basic properties of acids and bases. So let us know few of them. Why should pickle, curd and sour substances not kept in brass and copper containers? Let us find it out. What would happen if we drop a piece of metal in acid? We take little sulfuric acid in a test tube and add few pieces of zinc to it. A colorless, odorless gas would be produced. If we pass this gas through a soap solution, some bubbles would be formed. If we take a burning candle near a bubble, the gas would start burning with a pop sound. It is hydrogen gas. This hydrogen gas is produced because the metal displaced hydrogen from the acid. The metal combines with the remaining part of the acid and forms a compound called salt. And this is a displacement reaction as zinc is more reactive than hydrogen so it displaces hydrogen from sulfuric acid. So an acid produces hydrogen in the reaction with the metal. We can say acid plus metal gives salt and hydrogen gas. So now you can understand why sour substances are not kept in copper or brass container. Pickles or any other sour substances contain acids which react with copper or brass containers to liberate hydrogen gas and form poisonous compounds. They can cause food poisoning and also corrode container. So generally they are kept in glass jars or clay containers. Now some metals produce hydrogen in reaction with an alkali but some metals only for example like zinc, 
aluminium etc if we add some granulated zinc metal in dilute sodium hydroxide solution in a test tube and then warm it then we will get hydrogen gas this is represented by the chemical reaction 2NOH plus Zn gives 2Na2 ZnO2 plus H2 here the compound formed is called sodium zincate and the hydrogen gas is released so remember when an acid reacts with the metal hydrogen gas is evolved and a corresponding salt is formed for example H2SO4 plus Zn gives ZnSO4 plus H2 and when a base reacts with a metal along with the evolution of hydrogen gas a salt is formed which has a negative ion composed of the metal and the oxygen for example 2NaOH plus Zn gives 2Na2 ZnO2 plus H2 so sodium zincate is formed here which is a salt however such reactions are not possible with all the metals that's all for now bye bye